ओके एवरी वन थैंक यू फॉर बींग इन पर्सन एंड ऑनलाइन पार्टिसिपेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू बिट ऑफ श्यामता श्यामता प्रैक्टिस फॉर दो आर नॉट अवेयर इज सिंपली फोकसिंग ऑन आर ब्रेथ focal point can be anything can be breath can be mind but we start with the breath it's easier to focus on the breath i guess and after that we'll do bit of loving kindness practice it's an analytical meditation i'll guide you through it so that will be followed by the shamata practice um, but before that i'll also take you through the posture the body posture the right posture to sit in If any of any one of you have already have your posture, so you don't have to. You can ignore that part. But for of all of us who who are new to the practice, who are not that aware of the posture, we'll try and figure out what the right posture is. Hmm. But for now, so all of you who are expecting Kabir Ji here, he's he's busy, so that's why I'm leading the session today. He'll be back tomorrow, and tomorrow we also have Buddh Purnima, so it'll be a good session. So if you guys can come in person, I think there'll be more people here. and we might have some pujas also so let's see yes anyway we'll start now so we can sit either cross legged in half lotus or the full lotus the full lotus posture we try to keep our right leg on the left thigh and the left leg on the right thigh If you're not comfortable with full lotus, you can also sit in half lotus, where our right leg is on the right thigh and the left leg is under the right leg. So you can do that. Or the Burmese posture. So here we have our legs in front of each other. So you can see my legs. This is how we have. This is the Burmese posture. so right leg is close to the body close to the thigh and the left leg is like in front of the right leg so some of us who who have problems with half lotus and full lotus do that also it's very popular in burma as the name says burmese posture we can also sit on the chair if you are not comfortable on the floor but make sure your back is straight and we can also lie down i tend to get sleepy when i lie down but if you guys are comfortable you can do that make sure the back is straight again it's the bigger idea and if that is not comfortable we can also stand and meditate but that is something i don't recommend so that is also an option uh, the most important part in these postures is the back so so there are two extremes in our backs when we are sitting either we we can sit hunched which is like one extreme like this and the other extreme is we are very uptight very tight but the idea is not to like do any of this you have to find a middle ground here somewhere between the two extremes and you can move your pelvis like this to like find the right posture what fits you the sweet spot between these two extremes so you can take your time take a few moments to find the right back posture you can move your pelvis to and fro side base also you can keep your hands on your knees or you can keep them like this where our left right hand is on the left hand and our fingers our thumbs touching very softly and you can keep it on your lap or you can simply keep your hands on the knees keep them facing upwards if they are on the knees make sure that you're relaxed at ease whatever posture it, it is 
Yes, you can do that. You can touch your fingers. You can keep it like this also. Any way works. Um, you can leave it open. You can keep it upside down. You can touch your one of the fingers and keep it like this. The way we have it in the Indian tradition, Hindu tradition. So any way works. For me, this has worked for a long time. So I do this. Yeah, whatever is comfortable. Slowly, you can bring your attention into your body. So we'll do a brief body scan before we move into the meditation. You can start with your back and start with your lower back. Make sure the back is not too tight, straight, but relaxed. And for you to know if it's relaxed, you can check your muscles on the back. Are they too stiff? Are they too tight or are they relaxed? Just check for yourself. You can bring your attention to the lower back. Lower back soft and relaxed. You can slowly move upwards with your spine, maybe at the center of your spine. Check that your back, central back is relaxed. Your upper back, move with your spine upwards. Your upper back relaxed, your spine. Your vertebrates are stacked over one over the other. And visualize that. Muscles should be relaxed. And your neck. If you notice any tension, any weight, you can let it go. Soft and relaxed. Your shoulders. Let them drop. We'll bring our attention to our face. Often we tend to store a lot of, lot of the tension, agitation on our face. So our jaws become clenched. So you can unclench your jaws if they're, un if they're clenched. You can place your tongue on the upper palate of your mouth. Reduce the secretion of saliva during the meditation. Your cheeks relaxed. You can keep your eyes closed or half open or fully open. I tend to keep it partially open so that there's some light which are coming into my eyes so that I don't feel sleepy. If you feel sleepy, you can do that. If you feel too excited, you can keep your eyes closed. But remember if the eyes are slightly open or fully open, just a soft gaze. You're not looking at anything, not gazing at anything. Eyebrows, forehead, fully relaxed. You can bring your attention to your chest. Relax it fully. Your abdomen. 
not just the upper area but also the amazing organs we have inside this region the heart the lungs liver stomach relax them all your pelvis area let it be let it relax fully buttocks fully relaxed your thighs as we are going through these body parts you can take your attention there check if there is any tension agitation release them out your knees soft and relaxed calf muscles ankles your feet fully relax and your toe second to third to fourth to the little to all of them you can bring your bring the attention here arms relax them fully your elbows forehand wrists again make sure you are taking this attention to every body part relaxing them fully your palms your thumb four fingers middle fingers ring finger and the little finger Stay with your body for a while. See if there's still any tension, any agitation in the body, any part of the body. Just notice it. Watch it. Stay with it. and also your mind if there are any thoughts going on any tension you can let them go for now in the safe place 
don't have to be anywhere else just this meditation If it feels like you've lost yourself again, you can bring yourself gently back into your body. And before we get into the breathing practice, we can start with the motivation. The Mayana tradition, we often talk about the importance of motivation before we start with our practice. So why are we here today, this morning on Sunday? And bring to your mind some altruistic motivation. The Mayana tradition, we talk about the bodhicitta which is wish to benefit all sentient beings, including yourself, your friends, family, and the neutral beings, and even the so-called enemies. Enemies is a strong word, but nasty beings. People who have been unkind to us in the past. But if it doesn't feel natural to you, you can also bring some other motivation. You can bring, bring in your own words. Think about why you are here. What is the motivation of you being here? Once you have set your motivation, you can gently bring your awareness to your abdomen where you can feel the breath. So you'll feel the rise and fall of your abdomen as you breathe in and out. So you can bring your attention there for a while. We'll meditate for 10 minutes like this. Remember, if you feel like you're lost, you can gently bring yourself back and keep bringing yourself back whenever you feel lost to the sensation of fall and rise of the breath. We'll continue for 10 minutes like this. And if you feel lost, bring the attention back to your abdomen, the rise and fall of it.
staying with your breath. Back to your breath if you lost your focus. The rise and fall of your lockdown.
now you can bring the attention to the stillness inside you see if you can find the stillness for a few moments slowly come out of the meditation and take a break stretch your legs if you need to walk if you need to in the second part of our practice we're going to do loving kindness and the idea of this practice is to to be inclusive to be part of other people's life to make them part of ourselves to be kind to them to be compassionate to them and to ourselves of course so we'll use some visualizations to do this practice so again a visualization meditation analytical meditation often in this practice we start with ourselves we send loving kindness to us and then to our inner circle which means our friends family our loved ones dear ones and then we also spread this to neutral beings someone who we met who we have met in the street or some shopkeeper or neighbor we don't talk to or a colleague and then we also spread it to the so called enemies the nasty beings who it's difficult to do that so we will not jump on to that for today we will just focus on ourselves and our loved ones so we can again get back into our posture can sit cross legged half lotus full lotus like before and again find that back straight back not too stiff not too hunched a 
if you feel they are too stiff just check your muscles are they relaxed the muscles in the back they are relaxed then you're good if not then you might want to relax a bit more you can take three deep breaths Stay with your body for a while. Bring your awareness into the body. And if you have any tensions, agitations in your mind or your body. can gently release them for the next 20 minutes now you can visualize that at the center of your heart there's a very strong light central of your, center of your chest or heart a light which is yellowish radiation color like a like an african sun setting and this light is very powerful very powerful you have it in you and you can also visualize your own self setting 10 feet away from you at your eye level they're looking at you and they're surrounded with this black smoke which is representation of ignorance afflictions all the negativities but they are here now and you can help them you can help yourself So you can visualize with every in breath you take in the smoke, and the smoke goes into this light, which is the size of the golf ball. And with every in breath, the smoke dissolves into the strong light, leaving no trace of it. So you can start your practice. You can take your breaths and visualize that the smoke is slowly. dissolving into this amazing brilliant powerful light with every in breath the smoke is getting dissolved so do this for 5 to 7 minutes in this way
and if you feel you've lost yourself bring yourself back to the practice during this practice it's good to rejoice be happy be happy that you are able to help yourself and with your last in breath you can visualize at the last of the smoke which was there you breathe it in you dissolve it in the, in this brilliant light in the center of your chest you can send some loving kindness to yourself you can visualize this light now goes out of your body towards you who is sitting 10 feet away, away from you with each breath you can repeat you can in your mind you can think may i be safe joyful and at peace with every out breath you can give yourself the loving kindness with this message with the light may i be safe joyful and at peace and you can rejoice you can be happy that you were able to help yourself and now this you sitting in front of you they smile at you they thank you and they leave the room very happy free of their suffering their afflictions their negative emotions now you can bring to your mind someone who's close to you and also if you feel that you need more of this practice this loving kindness for your own self you can visualize yourself again you can also visualize someone who's close to you your family member your friend someone maybe someone who's who has suffered in the recent past or is suffering you can bring them to your mind they are again sitting in front of you 10 feet away 
they're also surrounded with this smoke, which is representation of negative emotions, afflictions, negativities. And at the center of your chest, you have this amazing light, which is always there. You can visualize it's always there with you. It's inextinguishable, reddish yellow in color, like Af setting African, African sun. With every breath that you take in, you take in the smoke, of this person who's sitting in front of you. And the smoke goes, with your breath goes into your chest in this light and dissolves there fully, leaving no trace of it. So you can practice in this way for five more minutes. Help this person. And if you feel like you've lost yourself in your thoughts, you can bring yourself back to the practice very gently.
and with the last in breath you can visualize that all of the smoke which is left you take it all in into this brilliant light dissolving all of the smoke there and again rejoice be happy you could help them you can also visualize with this you are sending this light goes out to them illuminating every part of them and you can also in your mind recite the phrase may they be safe they can be replaced with their name or your own self i may they be safe joyful and at peace they look at you they smile they thank you for they accept their gratitude be happy that you could help rejoice smile at them they leave the room you can stay with this feeling whatever you are feeling right now if you have any feelings if not you can stay with your breath just notice whatever you are feeling for some time for a few moments you can slowly come out of your meditation Can stretch your legs, take a break, drink water if you need to. There's some water and biscuits and some tea. any thoughts any questions doubts feedback people online and in person what is the bell for i'm sorry what is the purpose of the bell the bell just means the meditation is like you can come out of your meditation that's all okay chavi has a question i'll just let you unmute yourself you can unmute yourself chavi and ask your give your feedback uh we said uh you said um uh, during this visualization um when we uh visualize the smoke around us which depicts uh 
is that correct? The all our uh, ignorance, aversion, and uh, attachment, perhaps all, all the, um, all, all the smoke that we're visualizing. Yes, that's right. All and then, yeah. Um, and then um, the uh, visualization of all that smoke dissolving into the light that we visualize in our hearts. Um, yes. Is there like a, like a method or like a process that we visualize happening um, when, when we're imagining all the smoke go into that light? Like, is there, I don't know, some something behind that don't have to think about what happens inside the light because light is really powerful it dissolves every every portion of it and it's not inside you make sure when you're visualizing this all the smoke is not inside you it's all dissolved it's all gone into this light all powerful light so you don't have to think about what happens to the smoke inside the light it's just gone it's all dissolved yeah okay any other visualize? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, right. So, for the online participants, the question is that for all of us who cannot visualize that well, who are not that powerful at visualization. What is there any way to improve it or is there any other work around, right? Yeah. That's a very good question. And um, I think uh, if you, if you feel it's too difficult, um, you can maybe visualize less things. Maybe you can visualize just the light and the smoke coming and going out, like not even going out, just coming in and dissolving. Um, if that is not comfortable, then you can simply visualize the light going out to the person who's sitting in front of you and if that also looks difficult so then you can simply just repeat these phrases may they be safe joyful and at peace whoever is sitting in front of you and maybe you can do less visualization more like thinking of these phrases with time you realize that visualization practice improves yeah and also this practice is something we, we, we might feel this is, at least when I started with this practice, I felt a little artificial. But what I'm doing is not like coming from my heart. It's very artificial sort of practice. But with time in weeks, months, years, and decades, I, maybe decades, I have not practiced it for decades. But there's some knot which starts to untie and we, we naturally, we have to practice it daily. But when we do that, uh, we start to feel lighter, happier, and we feel that we are more connected with others. This practice, we've started with ourselves because we need a lot of loving kindness, of course, our loved ones. And then we can go to neutral beings and even the nasty beings, people who have been cruel to us in the past. And then sort of like a few days, weeks, months later, you will feel some change and you'll feel lighter, happier. And you'll also when so there's this bodhicitta retreat uh, we have in some of the centers and it is said i've not attended any of these retreats but they do a lot of these visualizations in those retreats and these are 10 retreats 15 day retreats one month retreat and after the one month retreat i've heard the atmosphere of the people who are like around them they are happier more related they smile on their face and so there is an impact which happens at a very subtle level inside us. So uh, if we keep practicing it, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll, it'll bring some change inside us, not in the one session or two sessions or five or 10, but gradually it will start happening. So you can try it for yourself. You can experience it. And maybe after one month, two months, you can come back to the center or three months and you can share your experience. Yeah. It can be sort of a homework for you guys also. You can go back and do this. And this, this is a practice which you can do anywhere, anytime. So you're sitting in a plane and you have nothing to do. You can just sit and send loving kindness to all the people who are on the plane, right? They're neutral beings. You can just send them loving kindness. 
and sometimes what i also do is i tend to think about the kind things that other people do for me for example somebody who's come to do plumbing at my house this person is helping me right i was in distress i was in i was suffering for some plumbing thing some plumbing issue was there at my place so i can send my loving kindness to this person similarly sabji wala shopkeeper they are helping you right they you are paying them sure but they are also giving their services to you and even if you had all the money in the world but this person was not there you, this your you would still be suffering right so you can send your loving kindness to these people also and if, if there's someone who's suffering at your home your near dear ones you can send them yeah if uh, visualization is a problem then can we visualize let's say numbers count that is that possible to practice it? counting wouldn't help you with loving kindness you can repeat this phrase may i be safe joyful and at peace so visualization uh when you say numbers uh what how exactly are you have this visual, visualization is a problem mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. then is it possible that we can just count numbers and visualize numbers in order to practice visualization uh, if you i've never heard of it but maybe if you can visualize that these numbers you are sending to them maybe and they are like sort of they are these numbers are helping them then you can do that the idea is that you are helping the person who's sitting in front of you so any visualization that helps you with it which helps you visualize you helping these people so that is that works yeah okay sagar is this sagar who's a regular member or some other sagar online not too sure anyway yes yes sir question. yes sir okay okay oh no you don't have to if you can't Uh, you can simply visualize that this light is going out of your body and it's going inside this person and this person uh, sort of this light is helping dissolve these afflictions negative emotions of this person and they are free of them so you can visualize that way yeah you see uh, my question is do we need to visualize all the afflictions and emotions or just simply be light and happy and spread it that is also enough the question is that if we don't if you don't feel comfortable visualizing the smoke the afflictions the negative part can we just send them loving kindness can we just send them light and hope that they are happy and visualize that this makes them happy that is enough that is a that is a good way to do it yes yes okay, the person already may be happy yes yes, yes, be absolutely. Person yes yes absolutely yes yes <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah any questions from the posture any problem with the posture uh, with the shamata practice that we did breathing practice any doubts gorav had to leave thank you gorav ks had to leave thank you adrita sunil ji sagar ji any thoughts and the little question on this mudra yes uh this mudra so this is buddha maitreya so uh, buddha maitri is some is a future buddha that like we we think that we i mean we believe that there is going to be a next buddha that will be buddha maitri and so that's her and uh, i'm not sure of the mudra you'll have to ask kabir ji what this mudra signifies yeah yeah yes thank you sagar i hope this was useful i hope you can carry this practice in your day to day lives it is a really great session rishit thank you so much for this thank you. Thank i you. hope we can do this again soon. i hope yeah <laughs> you can do it on your own also if you find it helpful yeah i'll try to remember <laughs> sure.
Okay, thank you everyone. All those who are online, if there's nothing else to say, just stop here for now. Tomorrow again, uh, just a reminder, all those who can be in person at 6.30, we also have Buddh Purnima tomorrow. So Kabirji will be here and he'll guide us through the practice, through the session. We'll also have some group discussion, maybe some puja. I'm sure it'll be a good session to go in the evening at 6.30. If you, if you don't, if you can't come at 6.30, you can come a little later, 15 minutes, 30 minutes later. So that is also fine. So whenever you find time, it'll be from 6.30 to 8. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Take care.